Hello guys and welcome to um, SPC418 ROS tutorials. Uh, this is a series of tutorials I'm going to record to help you get uh, started up with ROS. Um, I hope you forgive me for recording these tutorials in English, but I, it's just that I want them to be available for um, other... You know, when I'm going to upload them on uh, YouTube and get the wheel uh, rolling. Anyways, so I assume that you've already installed um, ROS on your uh, machine. Uh, we begin by sourcing the setup file. Don't uh, forget to do that. Okay, uh, what we just did is that we, saw, we, we ran the bash file, the bash script file in, in this directory. And what it does, what it does is that it upgrades or uh, update some environment variables regarding uh, ROS. Uh, basically what it does is that it tells the terminal the places where uh, ROS packages and ROS uh, binaries and ROS commands are um, located such that when I try to run commands like ROS run or um, ROS, um, ROS topic or ROS core, you know, the terminal by default does not know these uh, commands, so I have to tell it uh, beforehand that uh, what these commands uh, point to and what, what these um, words refer to. Okay, so we see here that when we ran our score, um, it told us uh, it started the ROS master. We have a few parameters, no nodes, and uh, it uh, we this is the um, where is it oh yeah this is the RS master URI this is where the master is located okay if we are going to run uh, ROS on uh, multiple machines and we will come to that later in the series okay so first thing first is that we begin our um, uh, ROS uh, development by creating a so-called catkin workspace. This is basically done by first creating a directory for a Catkin workspace. Let's call it um, Catkin Workspace Tutorials. Uh, let's write it Tutorials Catkin Workspace. Okay. Then we cd into Tutorials Catkin Workspace and we create another directory inside called SRC. And it has to be named SRC for I don't know, some OCD related stuff for the people who created this uh, framework. Anyways, uh, let's cd into src and run the command catkin init workspace. What uh, catkin work init workspace basically does is that it creates a symbolic link over here, okay, this creating sm link that points to the top level uh, cmake file. We talked about CMake file, and um, I'm not going to go into detail uh, to it in this video. But basically, what CMake is is that it uh, it's a build system. Um, what it does is that it runs the compiler to compile our code correctly by you know like linking the files to our um, libraries and doing a lot of work actually, just by taking some script file which the instructions run to the command uh, to the compiler are uh, written then um, this uh, file is translated into something called make files which are used by the compiler then to compile our code okay so uh, uh, then we go back to the uh, to the, the base directory of our catkin workspace the base directory is the bay is the directory is inside the directory of the catkin workspace as you can see here, tutorials catkin workspace. Okay, then we run the command catkin make. What, what catkin make is going to do is that it's going to build what's inside the src folder. And as you have seen already, there's nothing inside the src folder, so it's not going to build anything. But it's going to create two additional folders. The first one is called build, and the second one is called devil. Okay. Build is basically where our uh, executables are going to be located. Okay, when the CPP files or the script, um, the the um, the C++ files uh, will be located, the, the actual code will be uh, located inside the SRC folder inside our packages. But the executables are going to be located in the build um, directory. As for the devil uh, directory, this is where. Um, 
some setup files and some environment uh, setup files are located. Let me show you, for example, uh, if we go into the devil file, okay, in the list directories, we'll find a few setup files. Okay, in inv.sh, lib, setup.bash, setup.sh, setup.util.py, setup.sh, okay? Um, dot bash and dot uh, sh and dot uh, z uh, sh are all um, script files for the bash or the the Unix bash um, term. They are languages, uh, scripting languages. Okay, so uh, to, to show you what sourcing the setup dot bash file means, I'm going to tell you how, what does it change. So we have an environment variable inside the terminal called a ROS uh, package path. This stores the um, the directories in which ROS packages are located. If we want to know the value of an environment variable inside the terminal, what we do is that we we write echo. Okay, echo is a terminal used to um, re yeah, need to repeat what is what is given to it. So we are going to write echo. Okay, then the dollar sign and the curly brackets and then the name of the variable that we want to um, Then the name of the variable that we want to uh, know it tell you okay So what we did now is that we when we called this uh, it told us that uh, Ross pack the Ross package path variable stores only this directory slash opt slash ross uh, slash kinetic slash share and this is where the the um the the packet the packages are stored by default with this is where ross is installed if we want to add our uh, directory or the packages that we create inside our catkin workspace to the catkin um to the ross uh, uh to, to to ross package uh, path what we're going to do is that we're going to to source the development file okay uh, the setup the bash file okay when we did that, if we want to echo the ROS package path, we will find that it added our directory to the directory of package paths. Okay, so, uh, you find here home, Mahmoud, tutorials, Catcom workspace, SRC. This is another directory in which our packages will be uh, located. So what we did now, or uh, what we do by uh, sourcing the setup.bash file is that we are updating the ROS package uh, path uh, var uh, variable and uh, other variables that are uh, um, used by ROS command tools to run uh, our our um, our uh, executables and our um, node. Okay, very well. Now we have created our Catkin workspace, right? Inside, uh, in uh, we want to create a package, for example. Okay, so we go to the SRC folder, right? We list what's inside and we find nothing except for the cmake list is the text file this is uh, the, this is what as we've seen as we've seen uh, before that this is the file this is the file created by catkin um, in network space and it's basically it's a symbolic link actually to the top um, top level dot uh, cmake uh, file okay suppose we want to create a package right uh, we create a package using catkin uh, 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 oh, uh, first you can create a package by hand. You know, all you have to do is that create a directory called uh, package, for example, uh, package demo, right? We create the directory and then inside it we cd into it, okay? And then we create an uh, CMake list file called um, nano, okay? Uh, using sorry, uh, we create a CMake list file inside it. And we name it. Uh, we do that by the variable name. Uh, the, sorry, the execute the um, the terminal editor uh, nano. Okay, and we call it cmake lists dot text. Okay. Inside it, basically, we we will uh, uh, write a few um, commands. Cmake minimum require right version 2.8.3 okay see minimum uh, uh, require I'll, I don't remember what's exactly anyways then we write project and the name of our package let's see it's just called package demo okay then we find package right catkin 
required components. Okay. Then we save the file. What we did now is that we created a package by hand. Okay. Suppose we want, but this is a, a lot of tedious work to do actually, but if we use the catskin um, create package command line tool this creates the package for us by default um, it, it runs the, the tedious work that we, we will need to do to create a package by hand so uh, uh, we will run now catkin create package the name of our package package demo and then the dependencies of this package okay if we are going to build a package in ROS we are most certainly going to um, depend on other packages uh, created um, or already existing in ROS and this is actually the power f uh, the power of ROS it um, it gives you the ability to <coughs> gives you the ability to record or to use um, uh, uh, codes of other uh, people that is already uh, created. So we write a uh, catkin create package and then the name of our package, let's call it rscpp, uh, sorry the name of our package is package demo, then the uh, then uh, rscpp which we use to write uh, C++ codes and std messages which is the base uh, which is a list uh, which is package in which uh, very important uh, messages and base messages are um, defined okay we do that we see that it created another directory for us called package demo 2 we see it into package demo 2 and with this directory inside it we'll find cmake lists.txt include a, a folder called include a package.xml file and an src file. If we want to see what's inside uh, CMake lists, let's see what's inside it, okay. CMake minimum required, sorry I, I forgot a D over there, I'm going to um, going to correct this in the other uh, package, in the find package uh, command, as we've seen, catkin required components, and it added our uh, dependencies, our CPP and STD uh, messages, right? Very well. Um, what also it created is that it created a, called fi a file called uh, package.xml, right? We want to see what's inside that. Okay, package.xml uh, uh, contains the following, which is basically some information about the package, but most importantly it contains uh, what matters to us is, is these, um, these uh, tags. The build tool depend, this is the tool that is used to build uh, the code inside this package, and then the build depend, these are the dependencies of the package um, during build time. Uh, we're depending on ROS CPP and std messages, right? And then during runtime, these are the dependencies of the package during runtime, which, are, which is uh, ROS CPP and std messages. Now, the package.xml file is a very important file. Um, actually, our code won't compile if this um, if this if this file is not uh, correctly uh, um, written and if, if it's not present, it's not going to compile. Actually, if we go to our package uh, called package uh, demo, we'll see that we do not have this uh, file in our um, in our package. So normally. This package was is not going to compile from the catkin make, for example. It did not include our package dot x. It, it did not include the package demo package, although it's already there and the CMake list this file is there. But as we have already mentioned, if it's not uh, it, if it does not contain a package.xml file, it's not going to be included in the catkin make. Or it's not going to be compiled using the catkin make. Okay, so it only compiled the package uh, demo two, not the package uh, underscore demo. If you want to correct that, we will need to add a package.xml file. So instead of doing that, we use the command catkin uh, create a package. Right? Very well. Uh, this is the first tutorial. We are going just uh, we're going to stop here, and the next tutorial we will see how to run, uh, how to create um, a talker and a listener um, a nodes. We'll see also how to create uh, services and uh, public, uh, services and clients. 
and uh, start making some actual um, Ross uh, cool. Anyways, see you later.